Welcome guys to another episode of the Extra Vowel. My name is Alex and welcome to, let's call it a training episode. Uh, we are here with the C63 on the Salzburg ring um, for a very special reason because I will visit that track with my real car in two days. And uh, I thought it couldn't hurt to take a look at it in Assetto Corsa. As always, you can find the link to the mod car and the track in the description if you want to try this combination for yourself. So, yeah, the goal for today basically is to learn the track, uh, to learn where the braking points are, to learn where the tricky corners are, if there are any, and to get a general feel for what to expect here. So let's do this. Okay, braking for the first chicane, it looks like. All right, so far so good. <laughs> oh man, I'm so looking forward to driving on the track for the first time. Um, okay, what do we have here? Oh, lovely banked right hand corner, look at that. We have the cows looking here <laughs> in the infield. Not sure if that is realistic. Okay, all of this seems to be flat out. Oh wow, this is a fast part. This is a really fast part. <laughs> okay. Okay, this should be interesting in the rear car. We see a corner marker here, let's break. Not sure what to expect, we break a little bit too much it seems. Oh wow, this is this is a fast track. Very cool, interesting. I've never, um, I mean, I have heard of the Salzburg Ring before, but I've never driven it, I think. This is the very first time. Another lovely banked right-hand corner. Lot of grip in third gear. And another chicane, okay. Lovely. Oh, wow. And we are back on the start finish straight already. Very interesting. Very cool. This is a relatively short track. This will be easy to memorize. Uh, very easy, actually. Well, that's a good start. Let's break at the 200. Okay, first chicane. Lovely. Oh yeah, this will be interesting. So I will be driving two stints uh, with about 30 minutes each. Um, and there will be, I think, 34 other cars on the track. Uh, the stints are 35 cars in total. So the track will be quite crowded, I believe, because as we've seen, it's relatively short. Um, it's not like 35 cars on Spa, for example. So, yeah, this should be interesting. I'm not sure. Wow, look at that. 240. 240 on the long straight. That should be interesting to see if the speeds, the real life speeds, match the sim speeds. Um, I'm quite curious about that. I'm also quite curious to see how the oil temperature and brake temperature holds up in real life. But yeah, I don't think that we will be able to do a hot lap, so to speak, in, in real life because the track will just be too crowded. And by the way, hot lapping is not what you what your primary goal should be on one of those events anyway. Um, surviving and not damaging the car, those are the top two priorities. And <laughs> if we get a good feel for the car on the track and if everything goes well and we have a lap where we don't see any other cars so we can push a little bit, well that's just fine. Um, but we shouldn't go there to do a hot lap. Okay, there we go early on the throttle. Let's start to push a little bit more. The car has a lot of grip here in Assetto Corsa. No problem whatsoever putting the power down in third gear. When we exited that corner, let's see how fast we can 
go here on the straight to 20, to 25, to 30, to 35, to 40, and let's spray. Let's take this right hander a little bit faster. There we go. This is starting to <laughs> get fun. Let's try to drive a little bit sideways, which we will not do on the track day. The marshals uh, will not like that. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Yeah, I'm super, super looking forward to that. I think the next track <coughs> excuse me I think the next track after this one might actually be uh, the Nordschleife that we will visit um, which might happen as soon as June and I have a few others lined up for the rest of the year um, so this should be pretty good fun again let's Go a little bit sideways here, <laughs> just for fun. But yeah, it's a fun little track. Uh, I'm very, very, very curious to see how my impression in virtual reality here in Assetto Corsa compares to real life. Um, I guess we will find out in two days, guys. Okay, let's break. 240 on the long straight here. Uh, nice. Okay, let's go for another drift. Oh no, that did not work. <laughs> But yeah, um, I think I do know what to expect now, roughly at least. I do know where my breaking points are. I do know where my turning points are. Again, very roughly. But I think it's a good idea to train a little bit, to practice a little bit in a sim before you drive on the real thing. lot of grip even in second gear and by the way uh, we are not driving on semi slick tires which is the default setting for this car we're driving on the road tires because the real car does not have semi slick tires it has very very sporty tires with the Michelin Super Sports which are almost semi slick tires but it's still a sporty road tire and not a semi slick so I've chosen that here in Assetto Corsa as well. Okay, 240 again. Let's break. Let's see how fast we can drive here. About 170, 180 in this long right-hander. We will see if we can match that in reality. Oh yes, lovely. Again, we won't do that in real life. Um, the track marshals will not like that and we don't want to get thrown off the track. But you know, maybe there will be a little bit of a butt wiggle here and there. guys I think this is it for this episode um, I hope that uh, I will not 
damage uh oh the car or myself with things like this uh, when the real track day comes but I'm super super looking forward to it obviously I will film the whole thing and upload it and upload it uh, for you guys and yeah I just can't wait anyway I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you in the next episode which will be the track day itself so guys uh, yeah until then I hope you have a great day see you bye bye